Welcome. We've, uh, we're in, at this point in time, everything that's in the EMD dash open box. So we were in everything, even the personal folder. We went to it. We did not look into this one. There are still things in here that I never install that are there for your convenience. Um, like the Canon drivers for my printer. I have not uh, installed those. Maybe you don't need them either. But Covert is maybe something nice if you like Twitter, Discord, Canary. Um, the downgrade thing, but that, I, I believe we have that already. But this is Arch Merch, Eric. In Arch Merch, we have it, and yes, in Arch Merch, it's installed as well. Dropbox is installed, Etcher, um, alternative to Minstick. You never know. France's social media. Just take a look, there are lots of things in here. This tutorial is now on design because it does not look that nice yet. What places should you go to make it even better? There is this XFCE appearance. So we have Thunar. Thunar is a file manager. Thunar is not an open box. Their open box does not have a file manager. So we need parts from other systems. We can use PC Man FM if I think I'm correct. I don't know. But Thunar is so fast, so rapid. It's a great advantage that it has to configure it has custom settings it's all in here the fun is there already because of our installation and it's fast it's it's great it's flexible it's super but it doesn't look good um, it does look good in the sense that the icons are there and it's an arc icon but what is this and all that so I'll just point you to all the places you need to go for the tweaking some of the things have been set already as you can see we have Arc Dark, so we change something. Let's go to Arc Mandy Dark, so you know something happens up here. And then the icons, let's go for Mandy, Sardima, Mono, Coloro, Mandy. Just click in here somewhere, and there you have it. It sets. So, indeed, this one, this one changes the XFCE. You can make the fonts a little bit bigger, what I tend to do. And this thing is blue, there's no problem. Go up go down and go back in and there you have it as well so this is tunar setting done okay what else can we tweak what can we look for so we have the conkeys we've changed that in an other tutorial it's just click it and select and done that's easy enough then the preferences a wallpaper we can choose but that's variety actually working at this point in time so my advice is do try out variety if we go here to the wallpaper selector let's see what he downloaded already that's not from me that's not from us at all so there are already looks that are maybe to you your taste maybe you like any of these wallpapers here's maybe one that's nice and then our standard wallpapers if you like cars so I never downloaded anything I just have variety and variety fetches me wallpapers that you like or you dislike it's up to you to decide the wallpaper let's take something neutral okay so wallpapers it's not selected in here but you can this is nitrogen and you just can say okay Eric just take that one then Okay, fine, so it's now set via nitrogen. Um, so the look, let's go on with the look. We've done that one, login, preferred applications. It's actually something I want to tell you as well. So if anything bothers you and you don't want Chromium as a standard one, but you want Vivaldi, for instance, in my case, you change it. Um, XFCE settings manager are not needed at the point at this point we have to go to the GUI configuration tool because I want to get rid of the look so we have here Mandy somewhere down there let's keep it together all Mandy's and there you go we have now this black border and also this black terminal um, menu I mean and everything looks much much better that's all there is here for us and we've changed now 
let's change also the wallpaper with alt arrow to the right nah, that's a better one that's a nice one so if you like something you go in here and you say okay copy to favorites and now you're gonna keep this wallpaper it's more like a halloween <laughs> design and we're beginning of december but anyway i do like the colors so if you go over all the elements what else these are all the applications they just run or they don't run it's not up to arch merge these things here these are firefox google chrome anything like that that's in there places comkeys done that um, sound is probably also very important but it does not um, doesn't do anything about uh, theming and theming is what is the st subject for now xfce settings manager you could take a look because if you have a dual screen you get here two mirrors uh, two screens and it's here up here somewhere that it says mirror one and two just click it off and then you have your system back on two screens it's that easy in appearance you have here the same menu as we just saw um yeah we, we made the font a little bit bigger that's something we might consider doing as well as well in here in here and in here we have this size now if you say let's make this one bigger and that one one bigger then we get the menu that's a little bit better to read it's not too big for my taste but it's all up to you it's decisions choices it's up to you i do need to ask you once you're uh, satisfied with this uh, setup to install it on ssd because we're in virtual box and i see that it lacks a little bit on virtual box in this case so do not think oh no it's a leggy system no no you have to put it on the real hardware on the, the uh, how do you say it again on the, a real ssd for instance then it works super super fast we have here these uh, shadows and the shadows are done with the compositor so if you disable it and you take a look back then this is without shadows now you like it you hate it it's still up to you to decide what you want so we can put it back on uh, where is it compositor enable compositing and if you have a transparent terminal then uh, the, Compton, the Compton or the, the display manager well no, not, it's not called a display manager but Compton should be up and running otherwise you won't have this transparency and also these lines down there the shadow lines what else can we change we can also let's go down these things are all about getting out of the system and blocking systems termite appearance we can change the uh, terminal but that's in other tutorials as well so compositor was the last thing i touched we've done this key bindings is something else tend to gui yeah why not um, so we have this toolbar up here and if you say look eric you have now this red look let's make this let's take this one this r crimson and now you have also here a red accent in our tint to panel so there are other like this one this is mandy actually so that's the same color as the other theme it's all the same red so that's uh, was our idea to have an art theme called mandy and uh, icon called mandy and in tin too so they're all the same and we are having well a consistent look i guess uh, this should be maybe a little bit more dark so more mandy but it's red in this case but easily changed just switch the code you know keep gpic super shift d gpic click here figure out what color this is that's the color right mouse click that's the color you need to have and copy paste and done but that's done another uh, tutorial how to change the colors in a conky and that's also explained what you can do as well is generate a pipe menu with icons right mouse click will give us now this setup and maybe you like that as well and now we get all these icons 
on this menu. If you want to have a faster one, fast and faster one, you generate a static menu, meaning it's it's there, it's an XML file, it's much faster to read, it's not processed, it's not a CPU checking out all the user share applications and putting them in the men menu. No, this is an XML, Oof, there you have it. So that's the fastest way. This advantage when you use this one, the static one, if you remove something or if you install something, remember to generate a static menu again because they are not in. It's static for a reason. So if you are installing and uninstalling, it's maybe best to use a pipe menu until you're, until you're uh, ready to, um, to stop and say, okay, this is it, this is what I want, and then you go for the static one. Back to the normal one, if you don't like this, generate the pipe menu the same or static menu. The same applies between pipe and static. This is just information. If you are stuck and you want to know more, you go to the information about this release because we do have down here in red this time, most asked questions and I'll put them more on there. If um, people ask always the same question, I'll put them here. So this is the FAQ, uh, Frequent Asked Questions. And uh, these things are quite normal, the things you see. And take a look at this coding or text up there. All right, I think besides exiting a lock, we went through the complete menu. We generated all that. It's just... Uh, interesting to see if we forgot something here I don't think we skipped anything important about theming because that's the topic theming so there you go that concludes our tutorial we did see everything and i hope you like our little setup here this is Archmerged version 6.2.1 all pinned and all ready. Cheers.